Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to talk about lightbox slides in Storyline 360. Uh, but this will also work in Storylines 1 and 2. Now when you lightbox a slide in Storyline, it makes that slide available from another slide in a course, and you can even access the same slide from multiple slides in your course. So I've got a little demo here, and I've got a slide with a button, and when I click on the button, here's my slide that's got some tips to remember. And this is what a lightbox slide looks like. It overlays a slide over the, the slide that I'm currently on. And there's also this little close uh, button that gets created. And I can go to the next slide. So different slide, click on the button and access the same slide. And for the third time, I've got, I can click on a button. So I'm accessing the same slide from three different slides. I've also created another tab in the player here that's got a lightbox slide connected to it. So this time it's about some help information. And if I go back through my little demo, I've got that help tab available on every slide. So it's always there if people wanted to access the help in my course. So what I'm going to show you is how I set those two different ways of accessing a lightbox slide up. So here we've got story view and I've got three slides, my three topic slides. And I like to keep my lightbox slides separate. However, you can you can lightbox a slide from within the flow of the course if you wanted to refer back to something later. But in this case, I've got one for tips and one for help. So if I go to my slide, what I've done, I've got a button on each of those content slides. And because it's uh, the same on every single slide, I actually put the button on the slide master. So the view tab slide master and you'll see for this particular layout I've added a button and to that button I've added my trigger and my action. So to create the lightbox slide the action is lightbox slide. Then you need to choose the slide that you want to lightbox. So I've got potentially two but I just want to lightbox this one. If you want to access multiple slides as part of the lightbox you can turn on the navigation controls and that'll create a little next and previous buttons so you can have two uh, if there was too much information for one slide. And then the when is when the user clicks the little what I've called the tips button on this slide. Now because I've put it on a master slide that button will appear every single time I insert this particular layout. So I close that down and that's why all those three slides are the same layout. The other way I've created my lightbox slide is via the player. So if I go up to from the home tab, the player properties, and when the window opens, what I've done here in the player properties is I've actually created a new player tab. And I've done that by clicking on this little new add icon. And that allows you to create more tabs for the for the top bar of the player. So my little one that I've called help, once I create the tab, I have to give it a name. So I've called it help. Um, I can put it to the right or to the left of the top bar. And then I have to say, well, my action this time is, I, again, I want to lightbox a slide. I need to choose the slide I want to lightbox. And this time it's my help slide. When the user clicks this new help tab that I've created in the player, and then OK. So whenever they click this tab, that will lightbox my help, and then I can say OK to that. So two different ways. One, you can ha you can access the lightbox slide from the slide itself. Another way is to uh, create another player tab and lightbox the slide that way. But Great uses for lightbox slides includes hints on questions slides. You can have it for instructions or navigation. Uh, if you put videos or audio on your lightbox slide, they'll they'll play. They'll be displayed when you uh, show the lightbox. The only thing is, when you're creating your course to see the lightbox slides working, you actually need to preview out your entire project because potentially you're previewing across different scenes. So to see it actually working, preview the entire project. So that's it for this particular tutorial on lightbox slides. Great for making a slide available from one or even multiple slides in your projects. Uh, give them a try and uh, I'll see you next time.